I'm not very old myself, actually. Thanks for asking. <laughs> no, I got, I got very drunk last night and uh, went to this late night party, you know. I ended up eating half a tin of dog food for a bet. I actually lost the bet. I'd bet that I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> Before I go any further, actually, I'd like to start off with a bit of advice. You know that, um, you know that old wives tell that shaving off your pubic hair and eating it in a stew stops the hair on your head going grey? <laughs> it's true. I don't like grey again because I didn't like it. Showbiz. <laughs> and I, hate, I hate when I'm walking along the street minding my own business and some bastard tries to overtake me by walking faster. <laughs> I'm sort of implying that I'm not walking fast enough. <laughs> but I never let them away with it. Anytime someone tries to overtake me by walking faster, I start walking at the same pace as them. So that we end up walking side by side. Then they get all embarrassed and slow down. So do I. <laughs> but that stage, you usually cross the street to the other side and sort of pretend they're looking in a shop window or something. And that's what I like. It sort of makes me feel like I've won. I'm Eddie, king of the pavement. <laughs> You know, those, um, you know those awkward confrontations pedestrians sometimes have when you're walking along the street and there's someone coming towards you and just as you get close to each other, you both sort of go like this. <laughs> Sorry. I do that on purpose quite a lot. <laughs> Particularly if I see someone in a hurry. I also like doing it to drunk people. In my record actually with a drunk person is about four minutes once. I won't do the full four minutes, obviously, because I think I got the message. I also like doing it to joggers as well, because it messes up the rhythm, you see. Stupid bloody pastime jogging anyway, isn't it? Oh, flapping about in public in their smelly, sweaty tracksuits. Puffing and blowing and dribbling and drooling and spitting and farting like farmyard animals. <laughs> Disgusting brother. They should take up smoking, in my view. I have a theory about jogging because I think in about 50 years' time, jogging is going to cause serious social problems because you'll have these hordes and hordes of superfit senile geriatrics escaping from old people's homes by pole vaulting over the walls, <laughs> and running out of buses and frightening children and setting off alarms all over the place. And I have to go now. Thank you very much and good night.